Hi, I'm Corey Lindgren of Span Sleeve. Today I'm going to show you how to measure your sleeves and cut them for a 6 inch frame. I did do a video for a 4 inch frame, but there's a little bit of difference for a 6 inch frame. And I'm going to show you a special technique or measurement um, because the length of the house you can actually get varying different lengths. So in the back here I have a hole I'm going to measure and then in the center of the house I have another hole I'm going to measure. The ones in the center are right over the wheel well and you're going to see that they actually come up with different measurements. So on your back hole here, when I measure it, measure it right to the top of the ring down to the ground. Make sure you're on flat ground. I'm at seven and a quarter inches. Now when I go to this hole up here, when I measure it, I'm at seven and a half inches. So I'm going to cut that sleeve. Up. When I go outside, I'm going to cut an eighth inch short of that. And the reason why I want that is a buffer so that if there's uneven ice, I can put slush on top of the hole and shove that sleeve into that. But since that hole was at seven and a half and this hole is at seven and a quarter, I actually got to cut the sleeves at different lengths. So we're going to step outside and I'm going to show you how to cut those sleeves properly. So now I'm going to cut the sleeve that was for the back hole, the hole that was a seven and a quarter inches. So I have my hole or my line set at seven and a quarter inches. I'm not cutting, I'm not doing it at seven eighth, and the reason is, is this lip on the sleeve gives you that eighth of an inch. So when I set it at seven and a quarter on here, that's actually giving my one eighth inch buffer. When I'm sliding the sleeve across the saw here, you gotta make sure you hold it tight against the guide and you're gonna slide it straight across. And then you're gonna turn it, slide it straight across. So now I'm gonna show you that. slit and then you're going to cut about a half inch off there and that's so we can drop the piece in there for telescoping and I'll show you that here in a second. So I cut about that much edge off. I might have to shave a little bit more off if it's a little too tight. So, but this is for telescoping. So now we're gonna go in the house and show you how our sleeves fit now that they're cut. So now we've cut the sleeve and we're gonna drop it in. So now that fits. Now when I feel the bottom, I have about that one eighth, one eighth inch buffer on the bottom. And again, you'll just pack the top of the hole with slush and, and stick it in. Now if you put your, hole, if you put your house on a two by four, you're gonna to wanna to telescope a little bit. So by cutting that little slit in there, that allows you to actually extend your sleeve. So it should extend it almost close to what you'll need uh, with that two by four. Otherwise, so you can see right there, otherwise if you're just trying to look to fill up a little bit of a gap, when you st stick that whole sleeve in there, you can actually drop that right in there and it'll fit. Now this was the seven and a quarter one. Now this hole was cut at seven and a half. This is for this one right here. Same thing, just drop it right in there. You can probably see there's a little bit of a gap there. Drop that right in. And by cutting that slot, that allows those, those two points to meet and that fills up that gap there. Um, any questions, feel free to reach us out whether you're cutting your house um, sleeves for a four inch frame, a five inch frame, or a six inch frame. Just note they're all gonna be different and it's important to measure each hole. As you can see in this house, the back hole is different than the center holes and actually the front holes as well are the same back here. So when you're cutting your sleeves, make sure you measure each hole on the longer houses um, just because they're going to be all probably potentially a little bit different. On the four inch house that we did, uh, they actually were all the same, but that's a smaller house. So, But again, feel free to reach out to us with any questions. Thanks for watching.